inside ball. Ibsen rarely misses those. It's a kind of sport that once you sort of get involved with it and exposed to it, then you just love it and you get, a, get into it. Definitely one of the best players in the world. I've got, you know, I, he's sort of the master and I'm the apprentice. On the basketball court, he's brilliant and at times brutal. Definitely. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to be out there against me, mate. It's, most people want to play with me, not against me. Eveson taking a tumble. Justin Eveson is a two-time world champion with the scars to prove it. In my 12-year career, mate, I picked up a few injuries, uh, some pretty nasty ones. I've had some surgery on my elbow. He and the Australian Rollers have newfound fame since winning in South Korea just last week. We were on Sunrise the other day, uh, you know, just the support back home through Facebook, through just with social media nowadays, it's just amazing to be able to get all that stuff out there. Justin could never have imagined how a freak accident would change his life. I uh, fell under a lawn air rating machine when I was 12 uh, and that meant that I had to, uh, well, they took away the lower part of my right leg. But Justin refused to allow that setback to define his sporting ambition. The harder the things that happen to you in your life, the, I think if you come through them, then they really steal your resolve. I hadn't even had my leg amputated yet and I remember meeting Justin. Adam Deans lost a leg to bone cancer at 17. Now, the 26-year-old has won his first world championship. I wouldn't be the basketballer I am today if it wasn't for luckily being born in Western Australia and growing up with Justin especially. Even at training, these mates know only one way, flat out. Push power presence is what my coach says to me every time I go on the court. Here's the view from Justin's seat, working his way through a maze of bodies and wheelchairs. A master craftsman, who, on this occasion, was let down by his tools. Finally, Justin, the wheels have come off. We're falling off. That's it. <laughs> Would everyone want to see it? Today, Justin was back at his day job, showing off his latest sporting achievement to students at St. Peter's Primary School. It's pretty heavy. I'm not sure it's real good or not. Authentic, just like the friendship that's been forged between these Australian athletes. It's a bond that's been forged for many, many years and, and it will last for many, many years to come. The Rollers celebrate success as hard as any sporting team. It's a tradition in, in, in basketball in general, you know, once you win the championship, climb up there and uh, get, the, get the net. I guess it's a bit easier when you're a bit taller like the everybody players to get up there. Next stop, the Rio Paralympics for a man and a team on a roll. He was sort of an idol and I was luckily enough that he's in the same state and I've been able to you know, learn you know, the tools of the trade. To be able to represent my country I think is, um, you know, for me it's my whole life.